my first time being a vendor here and I have thoroughly enjoyed this. I specialize in event planning and wedding protocol. I actually do a training and seminar for brides so that they can learn about all the protocol and etiquette surrounding the weddings. And I've had a lot of great contacts and I look forward to meeting all of the brides again that I've met here. They're very flashy and they're out there and you can see them. I heard about the Bridal Expo from a bride-to-be. I'm a wedding planner. And she said, we've got to go to see all the wonderful things we're going to have. And the samples of the cakes and the food is delightful. All the vendors are very knowledgeable. They took their time with you. and very personable. They look like <laughs> real pillows. Wedding cake is one of the focal points for the reception. And a lot of people uh, come back and say that it's just as good as the wedding day after a year later when they have their anniversary cake. I recommend it to all my brides that I work with. Thank you, Cherie, for having us all at the International Bridal Awards. Right down in here. We're going to pick out a winner. If you're here, make some noise. What's the most exciting part? I guess giving it to her, so. <laughs> beautiful dresses, beautiful gowns, beautiful models, and great music. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the 2011 fashions from the International Bridal Expo. I'm excited to be here. Uh, well, we're recently engaged. We're getting married June 18th in Springfield, Massachusetts. My name is Natalie Melton. I'm with Event Design Group. We are the creators of Engage Now What? Wedding Planning 101, which is an abbreviated version of Engage Now What? It was a big part of this event today. Um, a lot of brides um, said they gleaned a lot of information. That's excellent for us. That's the intent of the um, workshop. We just want brides to be educated about this wedding planning process and don't get overwhelmed. Most brides look at magazines all day. They come up with tons of ideas and then you try to put all those ideas together but then once you try to bring all those ideas together they don't look exactly like the original design that you saw. So that's where a professional event planner can come together or a professional event planner can come into play and actually help you develop the concept and develop a vision that's specific to you. Overall, the one thing that we want you to get out of this um, session is that you want your wedding to be personal to you and your fiance. What you see in the magazine is what was personal to someone else. So you want something that is, is going to exemplify to your guests your love and your spirits and your heart connecting together. Not Sean and um, Kelly, because you don't even know Sean and Kelly. I also like the bridal one-on-one. -on -one. It um, helped me to kind of uh, reevaluate and organize what it was that I was doing with my wedding. This is an opportunity for you to ask me any question that you have. There are venue, uh, vendor, as well as any other kind of discounts, recommendations that we can provide for you, negotiations that can be done that you cannot um, navigate through. The average wedding budget in 2010 was $24,000. That is very consistent with the numbers from DC. You cannot expect on a $10,000 budget to host 300 people. It's 
absolutely unrealistic in this region. Unless you, when I say do it yourself, you are doing everything. You're somehow cooking, you're somehow doing your full. Now granted, some of these things absolutely can be accomplished. However, you have to change your mindset that you may not get the grand floral centerpiece, the highs, because those normally cost anywhere between 150 and 200, and that's on the low scale. You can't expect to have highs, and, you're, and you still wanna have that 300 people for $10,000. You cannot start going to contact vendors, contact venues, without actually knowing what your budget, what your budget for your wedding is. I, we have seen in so many situations where brides have trapped themselves into paying a lot more money than what they actually need to pay because they get this grand scheme, scheme vision, they find a beautiful space, they lock in that space, but then they can't even carry out their vision because the space costs them $17,000 of their $25,000 budget. And your budget includes everything from your dress to your shoes to, you know, bridal party gifts, favors, and invitations. There's a lot that has to go into planning a wedding. There is um, an overwhelming amount of vendors in every category, and we, we really want to take the time to teach brides how to navigate this process and help them kind of narrow down their choices based on budget, um, the specifics of their event, aesthetic, all of those things are really important. You don't want to break the bank. You have a marriage after the wedding. Can you all remember that? There is a marriage that comes after this wedding. You still have to live. Many of you will have to buy a home because you're gonna be combining homes and a lot of things go into actually the after effects of your wedding. I absolutely encourage if you have 100 plus guests, you have two photographers, two shooters. Don't miss a moment of your day. You know, prayerfully it happens once. If you have friends that are photographers, it doesn't, if they, and they say, they're one of those people that say, I wanna do your photography for your wedding. That's perfectly fine, but see their work. See what they've done before. If they've ever done somebody else's wedding, let them do that. I wouldn't say become a guinea pig. By any stretch of the imagination, this is not the day to try. If you have a birthday party coming up before or something like that, let them be the guinea pig for that, or you be the guinea pig for that, but not your wedding day. Because if you miss those moments, that's it. You can't recreate that. Discover how to personalize your wedding. What are the things that you know inspire you? You can get inspiration from anywhere. The colors that you want for your event. Um, what are what are your um, desires for your event? What do you want your event to look like? Where do you want it? What time of the season do you want it? If you know what you want and you have everything in front of you, you have the prices to compare, you have a very clear vision of what you want, you can uh, communicate that effectively to your vendors and therefore they'll be able to give you their best product versus giving you something that you don't want. So we just want to help them become educated so that when they go and they meet vendors, they know what they're talking about and they can um, basically talk to vendors that will best suit them versus spending a lot of time meeting vendors that aren't really even in their um, price range or um, are going to offer them services that they're really looking for.